Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator and in this episode we're going to be talking about Navigraph's latest update and the features they've added for the G3000 and G5000 avionics suites. Stick around. If you're in the market for a new computer or gaming desk, then Ewin Racing has the desk for you. Their modern sleek carbon fiber tabletop designs are both appealing to the eye as well as feature rich to accommodate both entertainment and production. From the aesthetically pleasing audio reactive RGB lighting to create a more immersive lighting experience, to the desktop wireless charging base to charge any of your wireless devices such as a cell phone or tablet, to the also included USB charging power source to make it easy to plug anything else in such as a USB hub, to the easy access cable management routing directly from the desktop. The E-Win Racing Desks has it all, plus many more features that make it very nice to have. Such as a rotatable headset hanger, rotatable cup holder, even a gaming controller stand for those of you using console controllers, while maintaining a very quick and easy assembly process that provides a strong and durable station to hold all of your gaming peripherals and needs. The desk height is comfortable and easy to work or game at for hours at a time without having the shoulder or arm fatigue that tends to accompany many lower end desks on the market today. The design is simple and space efficient while still addressing the needs of both the modern day gamer, content creator, or home working professional. So the next time you're in the market for a new desk or gaming chair, take the win with eWin Racing. Discount code can be found in the description below. If you are interested in acquiring any of my Overkill's tutorial guides or simply interested in supporting the channel, please consider joining me on Patreon. Patreon subscribers level tier 2 and above have access to all of my guides as well as any future guides that come along down the road. Patreon link can be found in the description below and thank you to all of my current subscribers. Alright you guys, so again, Navigraph updated their chart system and added a plugin that allows you to import your flight plans directly into the G3000 found in, for example, the TBM 930 and the G5000 suite found in the um, Cessna Citation Longitude and soon to be the Cessna Citation Longitude X Plus, or not Longitude, but Citation X Plus, excuse me. So today we're going to talk about how to get it set up and uh, it's actually pretty straightforward. It's a pretty awesome system. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start over at the Navigraph website and work our way down. Okay, so heading on over to the Navigraph site, guys, you have a ton of information here. If you guys choose to read it from here, talks about the Navigraph avionics plugin. Now, again, this only works at the moment for the G3000, G5000 avionics systems. Again, popular and in use for Microsoft Flight Simulator in the TBM 930 and the Longitude. Uh, but it is slick. Hopefully this is something that will start to progress into things like the G1000 um, because there are still certain aircraft that could take advantage of that. For example, the, um, oh, what's the, the Cessna 210? I can't remember what that, no, not 210. You guys know what I'm talking about. The big one with the giant wings and big belly underneath it, that thing. Um, I can't think of the name of it right now. I don't know why. So what we need to do first is you need to have a Navigraph subscription. That is a requirement, guys. So you do have to have the, um, uh, I think it's $9 a month, I think is what I pay for mine. Uh, so keep that in mind. We can actually come over here and look at pricing for just a second here. Yeah, there you go. This is the one that I'm on and it gives me full access to everything. So now let's move on over to the download section. Let me make it so that way you guys can see that. That would probably be a little helpful. Uh, it's actually at the top of the page. I'm obscuring the top of the page, you guys, because it's got my first and last name on it. And uh, I don't know. Just I don't want to display that. Um, anyway, so up at the top of this page here that you guys are seeing, there is a downloads tab. And from the downloads tab, you guys will scroll down until you find Navigraph Hub. This is how you get the plugin. Okay, once we get you download that and you have the subscription, then we can move to the next step. Okay, so now that you have Navigraph Hub installed, what you're going to simply do is find this package right here. 
the avionics plugin for the g3000 5000 suite if you guys want to use the navigraph charts in-game panel uh this is also where you would get that as well as well as the latest air rack uh the latest air rack cycle actually is a little bit further updated from navigraph than it is when microsoft flight simulator does its update so if you want the most current uh, air rack cycle this is still the best way to get that um but again it all depends on what kind of region uh travel that you guys do and how often those air racks actually change so just keep that in mind but once you install this it's just a matter of in uh, launching the simulator and creating your flight plan in simbrief so let's move on to the next step from the simbrief standpoint it's very very easy from here okay so first off you just create your flight plan as we normally do i've already hit the generate flight button flight button nice flight button so once you have your profile saved, now you have to hit the generate flight first before this becomes available. But once you do that, and I'm actually gonna create one more here just so I can show you guys. So let's actually just do a new flight. Let's go new flight, I'll walk you guys through it. We are in Tucson, but let's say we're gonna go over to Phoenix instead of Las Vegas. Scroll down, find the TBM 900 series for our particular flight. We're gonna accept whatever it gave us. Hit generate flight up here at the top. Once we're at that point, let's go ahead and go back into the simulator. All right, so once we're back in the sim, the only thing that we need to do is move over to the MFD tab, go to your sim brief first to load our flight plan. Now, the first time you guys hit this, it will actually ask you to log in and it'll give you a website to go to and a code to enter and then this page will appear. And then if you get nothing here, all you have to do is hit refresh list. Now notice that we already have the uh, Phoenix, KTUS to Phoenix, ready for import. That's because I actually already requested it. I uh, had to redo this part of the video. So anyway, you would hit request is what this would normally say the first time you load after you refresh the list. Then it will load up and then you just hit, simply hit import. And voila, that is done. Now you still need to do all of your VNAVs and, and altitude restrictions and things like that. If you want uh, altitude locked in at certain locations for your VNAV to function correctly, uh, you're still gonna need to put that in. Cause remember you technically wouldn't get that uh, from your flight plan, you'd get it from your clearance. Um, so, you know, ATC is still gonna control that. All right, but now this isn't the only thing that's available here. So this is, this is just the beginning. This gets, actually gets really cool. So the next thing that we're gonna do is you can see that I've got the PFD and the MFD both in split mode. So let's show you guys what some of our options are here. So they've done quite a bit with the changes. Let me move the camera around here. See if I can get us a better spot. There we go, that's a little bit better. So from here, we can now go to the charts page. Okay, and just go to chart selection. If, if it says no available charts, just hit that chart selection button again. Obviously you guys have seen a lot of this before. Okay, it's just all the standard charts that are available for your current location. You can also go to chart options and you can do fit width, which will actually maximize it to whichever window you have. And if we move over to full, it's still only gonna go to width, right? Uh, you can change from your night mode to day mode. Now, a lot of these features were already here. Excuse me, we're already there. So keep that in mind. You can have the header. If you just want to see the header portion, this is where you're going to find all of your uh, frequency information, touchdown zone elevation, missed approach information, that kind of stuff's going to be there. Here's our minimums coming into play right there. Now, again, we were on the wrong chart, so that's not going to obviously show, or you could do the whole shebang. Okay, so pretty slick. I like that you can bounce through that very, very easily. It's definitely a lot easier than what it used to be. Okay, so for example, let's take a look at a different chart here. Let's look at uh, let's look at the approach plate um, and let's see. Sure, for one way left, one one left, that'll be fine. Let's do the ILS. Let's go back to those chart options. Let's take a look at the minimums now. There you go. There's your minimums plate, and again the header, all of the missed approach information. So brings it bam right in front, very very easily. Now one of the cool things that you can do now is notice that we have over here on the PFD, we have the split menu. So I'm going to move to the first officer uh, MFD or a touchscreen controller here. I'm gonna go to MFDs, I'm gonna go to charts. Notice that, look at, notice that this turned purple up here. I'm gonna go to charts and there we go. Now this is what I was talking about, no available charts, chart selection. And let's say we want to look at, uh, let's see, well, let's see, we're looking, let's go to Phoenix. Get that information in there. 
we're coming in on the approach. We need to have that locked in. Let's say we're using runway eight. There it is. And again, you can do all the same stuff. I like dark mode just about with everything that I can ever have it on. And again, you know, looking at it from the PFD, I just, I need to know my header. I need to know my minimums. Or you can put the whole shebang. If you have your plan up, there is the plan. So again, you can now have that split. Now there is a requirement to this in order for all this to function. So let's jump back to the main menu for a second so I can show you guys what is required in order for that display to work. Okay, so for this section to work, it's still pretty simple. You just need to go to your marketplace or your content manager, depending on whether or not you have it already. And in my case, it's already there. But what we're going to be looking for. Okay, took a second to find it, but here's one of them. The citation longitude enhanced by working title simulations. And there should be something similar for the TBM 930. So let's just see if I can do a search for TBM. And there it is right there. You need to have these installed. They are free to, to install, you guys. Uh, and you can find them on the marketplace or in the content manager. Just search for under not installed. Uh, but you do need to have both of those installed for, you know, obviously the respective aircraft in order for that split screen functionality to work like I just showed you. But major improvement from Navigraph, uh, the, definitely a very welcome adjustment to the sim. I, let me know what you guys think about. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, etc. As you guys know, you leave them down below. Have a wonderful weekend, you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.